Uh, I need someone to hold this. Can someone help me to hold this for a while? <laughs> okay, so this is a. Uh, okay, let me switch this off first of all. Okay, what happened is actually I bought this thing with this thing. Let me connect this and you'll see what is the issue. And reason I started with the end product first before I did the, the other one because let's see the off. So I bought this because I wanted to, like this place, I am actually helping out in the children's tuition center. And the place has certain dark corners which makes it very unpleasant for study purposes. So I need to brighten up place, which means I actually need this at full brightness. And if you have seen, in order to get full brightness, I have to switch toggle three times before I can get the full brightness. I don't need the toggle function, I need to disable the toggle function. To do that, I have two ways. One is actually to reverse engineer this particular product, which will take me a uh, some time because I need to go inside and uh, undo the toggling. I went to Alibaba and I found this creature, which cost me only $1.60. Wow. <laughs> and this is a, th this is a, hang on, uh, 8 to 24, 8 to 24 watts uh, LED driver. And it's a constant current. I actually measured it last night. It gives a constant 300 milliamps. So regardless of what you put there, it will give you 300 milliamps. And the reason why I have to be a bit careful with this one, there's a third mode inside here, which is this medium here. Uh, you all know about switch. You have break before make or make before break. The, this three portion here is break before make. That means you actually break your contact before it makes a contact. This last one actually makes before break. So if I use this last mode, I will be shorting across my supply to my driver. It will blow my driver. So anyway, initially I was thinking I was actually using jumper, and I found this in my office, which actually works out perfectly as long as I don't use the medium switch. And like I said, I'm going low tech all the way, so I must well go low tech with the presentation. This is the topic of my presentation. And this is the secretary. Oops. Any questions? Any? So, is this a quick thing? I have pulled at least half a dozen of that white driver. So, uh, just be careful with that. Okay, so far I have been using a lot of these drivers. In fact, I so far I think I have probably used about 40, 50 of them. I have, I think, blown only one so far. Do you have better luck than me? Uh, <laughs> these drivers, if you open there, actually the quality of the drivers can be very, very different. Uh, generally, the input side from your live side is actually a full wave rectifier. I've actually seen circuits where they have a full wave rectifier circuit with only one diode and the rest are shorted across. So they can actually do a lot of money saving things inside there. And then the output side, they actually have two filter capacitors, they only put one. So when you, whenever I get this sort of thing, first thing I do is actually take a, open up and take a look inside to make sure they don't have these cost saving things. <laughs> Which one you want to see? After. After one. After one, I have to connect it again. Hang on. Huh?
Okay, this is uh, no no uh. You all know what this is. Okay, this was is strongly discouraged because this is going straight to the mains. <laughs> so that's why I have to make sure I actually switch off the mains. So if she wants to sabo me, she will put that on and uh, I'll be in trouble. Came off. Okay, let's hope I don't forget anything. Oops, nothing. Just need to make sure I don't get the wrong one because if I get the wrong one, my driver will blow. Okay, the full brightness is uh, where's my piece of it? Actually, the full brightness is very simple. I'm just applying the voltage right across, and for the medium and low, low I'm just shorting across the diodes because this is a constant current driver. When I shot the thing, 300 m, uh, milliamps will still flow through. So only one I like will slide. So no matter how I switch it, the brightness won't change. It's just that which one I actually switch on. When I switch off the, this switch, that means not shutting any of the thing, then I'll get the full brightness. The full brightness means the outer ring and middle still get 100 milliamps, right? Uh, no, it's actually 300 milliamps. It's actually in series. If you look at the circuit, it's actually in series. I'm just shorting across either one of the two sets of the LEDs. Okay. So, the, load, the, the driver will always provide 300 PM. Yep. Even, but then it will also mean that if you have a straight shot, it should still be limited to 300. Uh, there should be a short circuit protection inside there, but I don't want to test it out that way <laughs> because I want the light, I don't want the, to test. Because my test is not for the driver, my test is actually for the light. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I actually shot across, the fuse is likely to blow. Okay. 